All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, this is our Work In Wednesday. Uh, I have Elliot here, and Elliot is going to lead us in a yoga session called... You are not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> so, who out there is in Kansas? <laughs> so we all were in Kansas, and now we're leaving Kansas. Right. Where are we going? Um, well, I am going to take you on a class, but more importantly, on a journey that you will never forget. All right, are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right, you got it. All right, so guys, let's start on our backs. Now let's set up for Supta Baddha Konasana. So put the soles of your feet together and your knees pointing out. Now, this is a great pose if you are into powerlifting or you squat because you use your inner hamstring muscles a lot when you do squats. So now that you are in this position, let's set up for a bridge or wheel pose. So now put the soles of your feet on the ground and then pull them back as far as you can so that your feet can grab onto your, I mean your hands can grab onto your ankles. That's good. Now, if you want to, you can retract your shoulder blades back to make it more comfortable, or even if you're feeling like it, interlace the hands behind your back. And now lift up through the quadriceps so that your chest is facing the sky. And when you're doing this pose, the strength of the pose is not in the glutes, it's in the quadriceps. So it should be in your thighs. So if you feel any tension or any like um, construction in the glutes, release it and point it to the thighs. Now let's sit here for five seconds or five breaths. Take one breath to reset and lower back to the ground. And then again, if you want to go up in bridge or wheel, and if you're going to do wheel, you put your hands next to your ears with your elbows facing the sky, and when you lift up, extend through the arms and the legs. Now we'll stay here for another five breaths. And lower when you're ready. And if you are in bridge, tuck your chin into your neck so that you can create a safe landing on the ground. And now extend your legs forward like we did before we started bridge. And now let's do some fun ab work and let's lift our legs all the way up to the sky so that our heels are facing the clouds. And on each exhale, we are going to lower our legs a third of the way to the ground. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And when you get to the last third of the movement, where your feet should be about six inches above the ground, we're going to click our feet like Dorothy, except this time you're not going home and you're going to stay here and continue our practice. Well, Lexi, what's happening up there? <laughs> so three clicks will do ten. <laughs> and when you're finished with your clicks, bring your feet back up to the sky and take a few breaths to reset. And when you're ready, start the downward ascent to the floor again. But continuing to keep the legs six inches above the ground on the last third. 
And now instead of clicking our toes together, we will crisscross them for 10 crosses. Lexi's on the way. <laughs> You guys will be beach ready at the end of this workout. <laughs> and when you are finished, just lay your legs down and breathe and relax and feel all the blood go to your abs. Now we're going to transition into a, uh, all fours and we will make our way to a downward facing dog. And if you need to adjust your feet or your hands, do so. And on an inhale, we will take our left leg up in the air for a three-legged dog. And on an exhale, we will step it through in between our two hands, coming up for a warrior one. Inhale. And exhale. Another inhale. And on this exhale, we will transfer it into a warrior two. Inhale. And exhale. You guys look fantastic. Alright, and now straighten the left leg so that it will be straight and <laughs> lean forward into a pyramid pose and then put your hand all the way down to your ankle if you want to hover and use your obliques and create some heat in the area you can stay there for two breaths And on an inhale, rise up, back into a warrior two. And now extend the leg again. And this time, pivot the left foot in so that both feet point in towards the body and the heels point out. So we will be in this position and then we will lift our hands up in the air and then reach them back and try and interlace the hands behind the back. And we're gonna do a shoulder rinse. So now we will lean forward steadily, bending the knees a little so you don't put tension and then reach the hands as far forward as you can and rinse out those shoulders that you use every day. You guys are looking fantastic and let's sit here for three breaths and just embrace the stretch. And on the rise up, circle your head to the left so you do not bump into your neighbor in front of you. Good job. And now Let's face the left toes forward again and come into another warrior one. And then on an inhale, bring the right foot to meet the left. Exhale and inhale, bring the arms up in power. And then forward fold, halfway lift and then chaturanga or high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Now take a few breaths to just reset and soak in that huge flow that you just <laughs> did. So on the next breath, we'll take the right leg up and do the same flow on the next side and bring the foot forward into in between your hands and come up for a warrior one. Inhale and exhale. And on the next inhale, come into warrior two. 
and exhale into a deep stretch into that nice leg. And on the next inhale, point the toes in. And so now we'll be facing this wall and we will do the same thing. So on an inhale, reach the arms up. On an exhale, bring them back and interlace the, hand, the, the hands and then rinse. And breathe in this pose. Try not to hold your breath, but let the breath flow. And breathe for two more breaths. And on an inhale, rise up. And now, stay there where you are. And I'll point the toes out and the heels in. And this is where the Sukta Baddha Kanasana that we did at the beginning is so important. Now we are going to go into a horse pose. So on an exhale, lower down into the strength of those hamstrings that you just stretched and released. And this is a metaphor for how the things that you go through in the past help you with the things you do in the present. So whenever you do this pose, you'll remember things you did when you were in your teenage years and how it's helping you every day. And now, as you stay in here, let's rise up on an inhale. And then on an exhale, point the back toes forward and it, uh, soak into a warrior one. And now inhale and exhale. And every exhale, you should go deeper into the stretch. Good job, you guys are looking awesome, I love this. All right, and on an inhale, reach the back foot forward, so it means the foot, and inhale, arms up, exhale, forward, hold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. And now let's just come to a high plank at the top of your mat. And for three breaths, we will slowly lower to get those triceps fired up and get some heat flowing. And as you come down to the ground, lay your belly to the floor and Shavasana. Now just relax here for a little bit and let your body just thank you for the job well done and all the hard work you put in to being in these moments today and in the moments tomorrow. As I would like to say, when you go through a workout like this, you definitely are not in Kansas anymore. All right, thank you guys. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, that was really good. Oh, thank you. You impressed me. Oh. I wasn't sure. I didn't, yeah. know, you, I didn't know you, get over here. I didn't oh. know you knew how to teach. Right. So right. like, how did, who taught you how to teach? Well. I've, yeah, <laughs> I've, I've taken so many yoga classes that I've watched so many poses and just done so many things and just learned by seeing, yeah. by example. So you haven't technically taken any official classes. You're not in your mom's course. Right. Because right. his mom's a yoga instructor at Yoga Bliss. And Amy, she's amazing, like Heather. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, you know, you've gotten a lot of your influence from your mom, just being around her. And uh, did she teach? Did she do yoga with you when you were like little growing up? And like, no, actually, she did the yoga when I was like in middle school, and that's when she started to try and do it. Mm -hmm. But it was um, in my late teens that I really started to take my own classes. Yeah. And just 
like focus on that issue. Yeah. So that's amazing. So we're not in Kansas anymore. Hey guys. So if you are interested in getting more energy and um, influencing your body from the inside, this morning go back on my feed. I did a quick. Um, the seven health benefits of maca root and made a smoothie with maca root in it. And there are so, uh, more than seven health benefits, but I focused on seven health benefits of maca root and it's a great smoothie that I drink every day. So you can go back on my feet and get that. Uh, Win It Wednesday is today too, right? So come back and visit us. Um, and you know, every Wednesday, we do a, uh, we give away some sort of PLO gift or something. So uh, today is the day. Come back and find us uh, for our Win It Wednesday. And then next week, next week I'm back. Next week the great Heather <laughs> is back. And uh, so any focus? We're not in Kansas. Are we going to be like? We'll be in Ohio. We're going to be in Ohio <laughs> next week. <laughs> so thanks guys for our work in yoga session. Thanks, Elliot. You're amazing. So are you. Catch us next week. Have a great day.